What's up? What's up? Hello, everybody. Let me get this game open. Hope everyone's having a good day today. <laughs> oh, crap. Is it going to pick it up? Are you going to be a dingus? Are you going to be a dingus? There we go, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bagel. Zoom game? Oh no. Alright. Does that mean off? Hold on, okay. Music, um, language. You must not lie. Oh, that's terrifying. Save games? There are none. So, this is uh, the second Edna and Harvey game. We're going to start with that. And then later on, we're going to play uh, Broken Sword 5. Uh, there's... We usually watch Oak Island after. There's not a new op episode of Oak Island, so we'll be watching uh, Oak Island Digging Down, which is like a behind-the-scenes thing. That'll be at 9 o'clock in the Discord. PM, Eastern Standard Time. So feel free to hang out if you'd like. Uh, if you'd like to join the Discord, just type exclamation Discord, and uh, a link will pop up. Right, I'll be quiet now. It seems like you need to be solaced Telling from Same. the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come crying to me 
Hated for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Thank you, Sam. Don't worry, my dear There is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a sew Soon it's almost as new And the cut will adhere After all you have to Admit it is not as severe mm -hmm. Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care of you land up, Scott, my dear. Hmm. I can't stand to go. watch That's children it. bleed. Well, don't give me that kind of look now. Just keep going on, soon you will. See how everything will end well, though. Intro. It still may depend on your skill. I catered for these circumstances and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead. If you're clumsy and plump and dull fingers and thumbs, it might just turn out bad, especially when it comes to delicate operations like that. Oh, I have needle and stitch right here. Like a five-minute intro. Take care or you'll end up scarf my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Oh, I hope this ain't gonna be depressing like the end of the first one. I, I catered for these circumstances and hands carry needle and stitch in my pants. Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill. And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing. Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying. I merely was trying to help. Liger, see Liger. Oh, I have needle and stitch right here. Nope. Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. That's disturbing. Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum. But also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But what the fuck is happening right it's now? It's a beautiful sunny day, and Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. I know that song. La, la, la. Lily, how many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. But Ch you. Ch children are driving me crazy. What about that? Hmm. 
Chapter one, the covenant. The convent, the convent. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you are. Is that Mola making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Uh-huh. Tch, how boring. And so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! Huh? There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Would you look at that? Hot damn. The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Damn, Just move three the piles. cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. Oh, okay. You can now make the move with a left. Hot diggity! You've Hot diggity. taken the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> but your work isn't done yet. Okay. Finish the. You're using the rake completely backwards. You're pushing it instead of pulling. What the? But now you're working with power. There you go. Oh no, now they're all the way back there on that one. Oh my god, what? Tarnation. What? What's that noise outside? <laughs> oh shit. I supposed to do it just keeps pushing it back and forth. That uh, it's unbearable. Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're not even lady. fit to rake leaves. Uh, it doesn't matter. What the hell you want I from me? I have two new tasks for you. The flower beds in the backyard dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I doubt it, but we'll see. And while you're in the backyard, we'll the swing Trying tree is infested by termites. Come up with something Jackass. to get rid of them for good. Jackass. So, one more time. For the real none your clueless. business. <laughs> First, dig up the flower beds. Second, get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. Yeah, You'll trying be to get my very chair sorry right. there if we you go. don't do a there good job. Go. Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she still got it with her. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's in. Get out of here. Just let me do shit. Thank you. I should have never accepted that. 
Um, garden hose. Okay, let's see what's over here. Where could the hose lead to? Lily was excited. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to a thing. It's a pump. Turn it on. Lily, turn that off immediately. What? What's the problem, lady? Turn this on. Too bad. <gasps> Ooh. Attach it to this. <laughs> Let me have some damn fun, would you? Let's look through the cellar window. Oh. This looks like uh, a lot of stuff in here. Can you get in here? Oh, grab that. There you go. Can you get in here to get this? The idea was good, but Lily. Oh well. Alright, let's look at this cellar door. The cellar door could only be opened with. Okay. Well. Oh, hey, check this dude out. Uh, hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. Is everybody a jackass here? Uh, Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh, man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. That would be so gumbo. I got more questions. Uh, Don't you have anything to do? Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again? Or remove the hair from her back? No, it's your job. Get rid of termites, dig up the flower Let me beds. guess. You have to dig up the flower beds, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. That's gonna take forever with your little girly hands. But don't think I'll lend you a shot wow. when I get into the cellar. That is, unless you do want to help me get the key from the bottom of the well. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Because it's forbidden, right? Oh, man, Lily. You're so straight, it's a miracle anyone can tell you apart from the trees. Mm -hmm. I gotta get rid of these termites. Don't tell me. You're supposed to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. The swing tree's made of sweet licorice, and termites are known for going crazy over candy. You'll never manage it. Okay, gumbo? Uh... <gasps> Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh-uh. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool People as are mean, Sam. Say, you're right. They are. That's totally gumbo. Or that gumbo's. But you're just lame. Totally ungumbo. Totally ungumbo. Um. Is this gonna be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? I'm so interested. Uh, I'd rather be ungumbo than a dickhead. Oi, we dickhead. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. We can't do this. We can't do that. Don't gumbo. drink motor oil. Don't play with the electrical sockets. You really know how to spoil all the fun. No wonder no one likes you. Dude, sounds like I saved your life a couple times. Boy. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? That just proves how absurd adults' rules are. What? You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. Oh, how oh, cute. We wouldn't want him to fall into the now? well now, would what? we? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just because hmm. it really is too dangerous. Although... Although I could help you out. What? I know that Mother Superior does... Why don't you tell... On the contrary, I do all... 
Um... I said get lost. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Alright, whatever. He's just repeating himself. He? Um, really, Lily, stop talking so much. Unless, of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. You can blab as much as you want. She My hasn't said, had a chance to say a single word yet. I um, uh, hear that awesome stuff is stored uh, down there. Alright, whatever. Hey, get lost. Go find another place to play. How sweet. Apparently, Freeman was worried about Lily. Maybe he wanted to make sure she wouldn't fall into the well. Yeah. Sure. Huh? Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> when Lily returned to this the well, dumbass. Freeman was gone. What happened there, bud? Hello? The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Oh. Lily! Help! Lily heard strange noises from the bottom of the well. But she was a good little girl, and she knew she wasn't supposed to play near the well. <laughs> Just like Freeman. She had even told him so herself. Where could he be? Lily! Lily her butt just where? Can I take this? Lily didn't want to annoy the bees. Spray Aside that? from no. Edna, they were her only friends. Besides, besides Edna, okay. Can I throw that down here? Here. <laughs> Uh, that's too that's too funny. Wait, what's over here? What's this? Okay. Let me turn this on. Maybe I can flush it out and save him. Lily, turn that off immediately. All right. See if that worked. Nope. Backyard. What's this? Oh, look! It's Edna. What are you doing, Edna? Hey, Lily. Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. Then maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Hmm. What do you know about treasure? Um... I'm sure you're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, mm -hmm. not so great. The ground is just too hard. I doubt I'll be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already have lots of cool dirt under my fingernails, and I even swallowed a slug by accident. A small consolation from Mother Nature. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? And don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Uh, wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. <laughs> oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. This is you something else, huh? Choice. You turn this down You've been a kind bit. of told to by the Lord. All we still need is a shovel. There we go. That's it right now. Um, shovel? Um, the shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh... I don't know where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now you can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Uh-uh. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. But first, you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. Okay. 
Uh, termites? Uh, she told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> it was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? I even broke into the firefighters' museum to get the large red ones. And then <laughs> all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I run out of jelly. <laughs> this is uh, definitely a little different from the first. Edna has a little more dialogue, it seems, with bits. Whittier. Um, are you still worried about the termites? I'd really love to help you, but unfortunately, I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darling someplace else. But when we found the treasure, we can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory. Green jelly bed, factory. A honey farm. Who I think honey is much cooler factory. than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. If we had a honey farm, we could also train the bees. Maybe there's still a chance for my project. Peepholes for the Great Wall of China, after all. Hmm. So you need a shovel when you also need jelly and <sighs> Mother Superior is having a bad day again. Uh-huh. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mumps. I've rarely heard her laugh so hard. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? <laughs> okay. Looks like a compost barrel. Termites. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Why did Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much? The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots and spiders. Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. The swing tree was crawling. Why did... Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Yeah, completely harmless. That's why she immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Oh my gosh, you know what? At least this she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed. I'm getting uh, I'm getting um, what remains of Edith Finch vibes. There's a part where the. They're swinging on this swing over a ledge, just like that, and he just flies off. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Lily was supposed to dig up the flower. If she found a treasure in the process, no one could. Edna was Lily's best friend. She always knew how to cheer up Lily. For example, by sabotaging the brakes on the mailman's bicycle. <laughs> Sure. Wait, can I not take this? Um. Oh. And hopefully, it wouldn't start hailing again. Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until hopefully. Lily, their buzzing was so sweet. And if you look. Uh, hang on. Um. Too bad. Can I just do this a couple more times until it fills up the well? But she was a just like where could he be? What, what is, what's in my inventory? Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay. So 
Don't bother, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Some wool from embroidery class? Not exactly what we're... <laughs> supposed to get past this. Just keep activating the pump. Can I not move the lever or anything? So that's apparently all in the right place because I can't move it. Maybe this hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had got. Huh. What if? No, I can't get in there. There's the shovel. Eyeballs looking at me, a Rubik's Cube. Can of food. Can of food. <laughs> Sam knows. And a brush. The cellar door. Played in the uh -uh. That's why she. Uh -uh. At least she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. The tire swing with. Lily quickly realized that she needed. Lily quickly realized she needed. It was the time. Hmm. Is there not another place I can go? Oh, maybe I can reach this. Oh! Oh! Ah! What's going on? Um. Uh, no! Oops! Go away! Go away! I'm allergic! Oh no! Oh, he's so Clumsy fucked down there. Oh no! The bees nest into the well. The bees didn't like it too much either. <laughs> Buzzing sounded different than usual. Oops. Whoopsie! Um, now what can I do? Uh, hey, are you okay? Lily, help! Lily heard strange, but just where could... Maybe now I can fill this up with water? Understand what she had done wrong. You're making noise. You gotta be quiet. Oh, look, there he is. Hey, are you okay? Um, uh, Lily, thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If I can ever help you, uh, oh, you want the cellar yes, key? Yes, can I have the but cellar of key? Of course not. What in the world are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. It's huh? your fault that I fell in, but instead what? of helping me get out, you this? throw a beehive on my head and nearly drown me. Oh. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings, and smeared from head to toe with honey. 
I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless, but you're I actually am. a walking disaster. You can definitely Whatever. forget about the key. You keep away from me. Sure. Whatever you say, Freeman. This guy is a piece of work. I said, get lost. You're not getting the key. Go do your other chores. Okay, fine. There's this thing called karma, and it will come Millie back. thought about collecting the honey with her bare hands. But then she remembered her recent scolding at the cafeteria. She needed a better, better plan. All right, well, let's just brush it off. The brush. All right. Now, let's go here. Do something with this. The termites responded very excitedly to the honey. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. About right here. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites to. Lily started right away. Cool. Oh, there they go. So far, the plan oh. had worked well. Maybe a I little dropped some honey. Well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ah! No, don't get away! Ah! Strange sounds were drifting <laughs> towards her from over there. Um, it was probably the termites celebrating their new home. I think he just got fucked up even more. Let's go take a look. Oh, yep, there's a hell of a trail. Freeman had now left for good, but at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. What is he painting? <laughs> it looks like a little skull and maybe some ribs. I don't know. <gasps> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I'll take the key now. Um, termites. It looked like the termites had found a new home. And yeah, one of the gnomes that Lily evil. saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. Oh. He would probably have liked it too. Freeman would have liked it. <laughs> but I don't know what happened to him. I have no clue. I'm sure he, like, took a vacation and went to, like, Tahiti or something. Go down here. Mother Superior has strictly forbidden the children from yeah, playing yeah, yeah, in the yeah. cellar. To cover up. Yes. On the other hand, Lily had a task to finish. I totally did not do that. And he might, might have had it coming to him, but that's neither here nor there. Grab a can of food, that looks good. Lily got along great uh, with Doris, the lunch lady. Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Digested grass, rat, pigeon. Lily assumed these cans were meant for the cafeteria. Oh, let's not take that. There we go. How about this shovel? Can we take that? A shovel? <gasps> That's exactly what Lily needed. Can I open this? The stove was black and empty, just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. The mirror that appeared in Lily's dreams. That sounds terrifying. Can I take any of this coal? Nope. Alright, out. We're out of here. Throw this away. Edna, Edna, I found a shovel. Yay, you found a shovel. Oh, Lily, you're the best. Oh, Let's not waste shucks. any time and dig up the treasure. Okay. okay. Edna and Lily okay. began digging out okay. what they thought was a treasure okay. chest. Okay. That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. Mm -hmm. So what? They were space pirates from World War II. 
Who cares? What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, let's open it. I'm so excited. Aerial bomb? Oh, that's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. <laughs> Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Jackhammer? Jackhammer. Great! Now the device should have enough oomph to open the treasure chest. And blow this What's bomb up. What are you waiting for? Don't you know how to use it? Uh-uh. Ah, don't worry. We'll find something else. <laughs> how about this right? That's not gonna work. We need it. Hey. hey! You did it! Hmm. And what's that supposed to be? Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest, and I already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have anything on you? Hmm. Uh -uh. Here. Some wool from embroidery class? Yeah. Wow, that's perfect! Our friendship ribbon, the Yay, string that ties us both ribbon. together. So to speak. Come on, put it in there. Now we just have to bury the chest day. again and. Hey, where did the brush disappear from now? That's Mother Superior. What does she want now? We should check before she explodes. You have to be careful, you know? Mia. Yeah. That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Freeman's Say dead. Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. <gasps> and until further notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtime will be moved up by no! a and in case you're wondering, you it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for Can't help. Take He's dessert. a renowned psychologist who will Can't restore take discipline and order here in the convent. There's certain lines you don't cross. The examination will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. Look at that funky and picture of the uh, Last Supper over there. It won't be a pleasant experience. <laughs> a psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. Oh, my. Um, what are they talking about? You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. I'd better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief. And Lily, I'm expecting you in my office okay. now. Right now. All right, fine. I'm very disappointed. Ah, you got a plant for Mario Brothers. Ever do anything right? Or, or, Ugh. uh, not little shop of horrors. Your constant excuses just make me even Looks more angrier. like the Mario Brothers one. <sighs> And now just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get a move on. Feed the cat. Can't you see how amazing Feed your own damn cat. Again? Oh, stupid ch ch child. I'm going to play with this plotted, potted plant. Yep. Let's click on that. Hello. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. So what? Push this. Take this. Then what? Put this shit over here. Here, take this. Funky looking cat. Stop! What on earth are you doing? What? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um. <sighs> but you disappointed me for the last time. Well, send me away. Here's the I recipe guess. for the right cat food. You didn't tell me. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there, too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. <sighs> I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel. I don't know if arrival. I could take much more I'm of this game. These people are just getting me in a fucky flaws mood. Will save me this kind of trouble in the future. I don't like being in a funky mood. 
Like dealing with assholes. Lily felt miserable. Maybe Mother Superior was right. And this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. I feel like my the doctor back and I still top. have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around. It's like in my I shoulder. Think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Sure. Uh -huh. Oh, Lily. You're such a gem. What would I do without you? Mm, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I don't want no stranger touch me. <laughs> and marbles. Oh, marbles. Found my marbles. Want to get a pillow? Lily didn't have any talent. Mother She's Superior watching me. Only allowed her to embroider, but Lily could. She saw me take the marbles. Lily had never seen Edna so worried. Not even the night that she set fire to the vestry. <laughs> and? Are you making progress? Nope. Uh, cool. So you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <sighs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. Oh. Marcel's ears are everywhere. If you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy mm. is no joke. But you know the rumors, so watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. Uh, not so loud, Dr. Murphy. That is, he is evil. Uh, you can tell me. Mm. First, we have to get mine. Right, whatever. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyoroshi Sparkle! Miyoroshi Sparkle! Shing! Shing! Okay. <sighs> oh, man. You're really out of it, Lily. Need a hairpin. Oh. Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shy? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the I don't know, Sam. Love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy, Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. What Everyone is going knows on? A real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Yoroshi Sparkle. Mystical spirit of the wolf. Mystical the spirit of, of the wolf. wolf. Kamanukri. Shing. Shing. And anyway. Shwing. What even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win. Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. Yeah. The Riot Girl does it too. On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Nagayuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces <coughs> kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyoroshi Sparkle! 
I'm not. No. I'm out of here. You're taking up too much time. For all that. I think it's just, just more silly. This one's just more silly. Overall. They try, like, let's make it funnier. And less, uh. Uh huh. Confusing and difficult. Lily watched how her slippery and again, we're just starting. It might get more, way more difficult. After him. What a balloon. It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. Who do we have here then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Fine, You're alone, thanks. Johnny. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you <coughs> came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you got there. Shawnee. Aha, I knew it. A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, what's going on with the screen? I think I'll hold on <laughs> to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music So you're just gonna make it more herself. difficult on yourself by fucking <laughs> it up for me, and then she just let's go, guys. We're off. You're in. Now it's just gonna be more pissed off, and then punish you guys even more because you interfered. What the hell? It's just a whole video game of jackasses. What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The hmm. chapel didn't have a second exit. Mm hmm. Took my list. Frank, enter the confession. Maybe he went here. Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Okay. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. Frank was completely occupied with the stone slabs. Look at look at here, Frank. Wait, wait, you got wait. Talk. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely what? justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where, Where did, did they, they go? go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The great church conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. What? Uh, shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are, are they you taking this to from Birch and Sword? 
if you keep getting interrupted. Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about, but unfortunately, without the right tool, I won't. So either you go and get, or you just leave. Uh... Shh. You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Okay. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else to do here. The cross looked very unstable. Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. Holy cow. They just went there, didn't they? The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. Lily had to confess that she was once again completely lost. Lily had to confess. Something the carving definitely showed goes a there. Big, but some hmm. There's nothing else I could do. Can't go further that way. Hmm. <laughs> Still out here. Who is this guy doing? Um. Who's coming to get her recipe back? If it isn't our little goody two shoes, Lily, you better split before I tie your shoelaces together, or worse. Um, uh, gonna need that. Oh, bag. you really want the recipe back, don't you? Uh huh. Well, I didn't know that. Just give me a sec so I can wrap it up for you. You know, it didn't work hey. out for the last Lily guy that was uh, touched. It was so rare for her to get presents. Talk with me. You so don't have a clue. In fact, Do if you, you look right behind lost, me here, Lily, or I'll be forced to call you names. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm a real badass. Just face it. You're not tough enough to make any demands <sighs> around here. I hope this isn't a long game. Uh, tell me, how come you even dare to come here anyway? You know we're not allowed to play in the garden anymore. Or did Mother Superior send you? You can tell your beloved Mother Superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. Ha! But I bet you're too scared. I wonder you're why the game developer... Echo, uh, right? Well, and you uh, should be. Because one day, when you I think least that's how expected, you pronounce it. I don't know. Who knows? You might turn day around like die and like, see I don't know. that someone um, has stolen your milk. <laughs> I wonder why they decided to go with this in a lot of their games where um, this one, the first one, uh, Deponia, 
it had some funny parts in it, but I specifically remember a lot of the players you interact with, or well, NPCs that you interact with. Um, they're very rude. And I wonder why they went with that for a lot of their games. Maybe it just translate differently because this is not um, an American based company um, or America based company, but yeah, it's maybe it's just translated differently. What? Now you're upset? Did the nasty boy? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna start skipping dialogue. Is this <laughs> just look with your you? I was. How could I do you know or hunts just and that? <laughs> if you're trying to impress me, you're too scared to even, and that means you won't get your recipe. Shawnee didn't seem to be interested. Lily had to find some other way. Johnny didn't see Lily. <laughs> it looked like the and too bad he would probably. Oops. He would probably have. What are you doing down here? Memphis. Oh. What? Quick! Close the door before anyone sees me. This is the last safe place in the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. What do you mean? It's dangerous. <sighs> Don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about, but he'd always been jumpy. But. Someone might hear you, and then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. The stove is the safest place in the entire coffin. You know, it has a crumb steel casing, titanium reinforced interior walls, and is lead coated inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Um, now get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, Talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. La, 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 la. The end of the world is near. Oh my. Music's a tad lad. Loud. Loud. Lad. Loud. Thank you, Sam. You must not lie. Me there. That better? Memphis was trembling all over. No wonder. The stove had gone out. Better. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Did I give him the marbles? Lily didn't know what to do with all these brand new marbles. Up until then, she had always played marbles with severed doll's heads. At least they had talked to her while she played. What's going on? I guess I can't use that here. Huh. Why can't I... <laughs> Where'd he go? Did something happen? Wonderfully, the fully operational detonator on the aircraft bomb blinked. Uh 
a real treasure chest. It was hard to tell. A real. Damn it. Oh, Edna and Lily. Edna had apparently left an inscription here. Lily was touched. Edna was Lily's best friend. The yard waste was rotting away leisure. Oh, something's not working. Double click is not working. Controls. There we go. Let me try something. I think it glitched up on me when I did that. I don't know. Now I can't double click on anything. There we go. That's why she knew Doris. Excuse me again. Mm. Hmm. Oh, cafeteria. I haven't been here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's Mother Superior. What's this? Doris and Lunch Lady. Banana. Coconut. Coconut. Apple. Free space. Um, what was that? <sighs> you impertinent little slug! Another I rude can't one. Stand it when people gossip about me behind my back. The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent. No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media. If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one. Uh, where are my canning jars? I need something to calm my fingers. Otherwise, something terrible might happen here. Holy crap. Maybe I should give her a coconut. You, before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. Is she just gonna like break choke someone out? Touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. That's. Um. Uh, now I. You came to come. Well, children only. Get my. I haven't been blessed. I've got. You can thank. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with meal time? As if the only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat. Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook any. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do No. No recipe? 
Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here. Um, no stove? Um, uh, forget the recipe. As long as the stove in the cellar is out, I won't be cooking anything anyway. Uh, never. Hmm. What's the matter? What are you even doing? I know what I'm- A jail! Blah, blah! Do you really- Uh-uh. Yeah, and as long as- Her voice is annoying. Here, you want this coconut? Put that back at once! That fruit isn't for you children! All I need is for everyone to just take- Nope, I'm not putting it back. I'm keeping that shit. Kiss my ass. Here. A banana. Shawnee didn't. Lily had to shove it in his ear. Shawnee didn't seem to be. Lily. Shawnee didn't. Lily. Lily would have liked to have known where they were, but she had her own chores to do. Another area. Um, Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. Who are you talking I think to? You're great, just as you are. Lily's heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. Oh. Let me get nice to the collection. Gargoyle. The gargoyle had lost its balance long ago. Only a thin rope was stopping it from falling. Why didn't it just give up? Firecrackers. Firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? The gargoyle seemed to worry about its companion, but it also didn't lift a finger to stop it from falling. Typical. Okay, Sam. The school clock was out of reach. Okay, the little old man just sleeping in the corner, hung up by his suspenders. Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Um, only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Hey. That's my old. I might be old. I can tell you stories that'll make your. Some of them are about my. But only certified Boy Scouts are allowed. So get your. Okay. Can you pick your? As long as no one forbade her, Lily would keep everything she found on her, even if she might not have enough space in her pockets. As long as no one, even if she. Um. Okay. Oh, a visitor. <laughs> what a rare, rare, rare animal. The hawk. But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with with extra ketchup, please. Okay. Uh, uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be when the pyramids were built. I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified to Beth, I said. Back then I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. 
It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a this dude is old. Puzzle here. Like really a few old. Artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh yes, I was building secret crypts when you were still in 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 the indie band Inquisition Overload, but it flopped unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history class. Class. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Anything else? Uh, I'll get to that in a first I telling story. That's why I worked for a while. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once, for example, or a guess that's that. He was fun to talk to. He's gonna yell at me. Once again, Lily's only mother superior. Let me have this. Stop that! I need that as a template. No, let me get it. Burg it. Burg it. Um, don't even bother trying to distract me, Lily. Unlike you, I actually have a sense of duty. You don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just standing around like a moron. Oh, God. Like you, I work hard to I get all those honors. I can't do this rewards. game. I'm glad Even it's only two I'm hours a week. The path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my embroidery skills. Mother Superior loves the embroidery because the pictures of the animals come day in important values. But you wouldn't know anything about You've always been terrible at embroidery uh, and everything else for that matter. What else she got? Tell me about the edibles. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Haven't you learned anything at all from my multi-award winning embroidery? Each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength. And deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, it's called. Uh, I otherwise, what a sh I know how much. Lily had to admit that Birgit was right. Her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for Lily to wish an incurable disease on her. <laughs> Neither a disease Damn. with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to cough her lungs out. Holy shit. Oh, take your little boo-boos to Mother Superior. I'm not her deputy yet. But maybe that'll take change once I've collected all my awards. <laughs> I'm already her favorite. Be quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it's gone. Damn. Thanks a lot. Great job, Lily. If you want help, Ask Mother Superior about a suitable animal role model. I'm already done with all my patterns. It's a whole village of remember, idiots. At this time of day, Mother Superior is always in the cafeteria, drinking a soothing tea. So don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in there alone. And hurry up. 
My grades depend on it. Huh? Stop bothering me. If you carry on like this, I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Let's check the sound here. You don't distract me. Test, Can't test, you see test, I'm test, working? Test, test, ah, test, 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 test. Probably not. You probably don't even know what hard work looks like. Should be a little bit better. Oh man, not here again. Can I give her something? Here, take this. What's that supposed to be? An animal motif? Uh huh. No animal motif looks like that. Animal motifs are always on a pedestal. Don't you know anything? Apparently not. The guinea pig didn't. Lily would feed. The guinea pig. Lily would. Lily knew food. And when it started. Lily knew food. And when it. Can I use the air hammer on Lily the knew food. And when it. Lily was worried. As comes Lily. The guinea pig. It was complete. Don't. Dis Unless I need an animal. Huh. Capu was the nicest guy. Lily liked him. That reminded her that she'd been mean to I don't see anybody there. Maybe it's glitched. Oh, wait. Wait, go back down. Can I go that way? Okay, that goes back there. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No, it only means you have to find the right tools. Something small enough to loosen the screws. Oh, what luck. Lily was relieved. Okay. The mask was twitted that... No. Oh, the mask did... no. Something. Oh, what luck. I'm back. Oh, yep. Welcome back, <laughs> Sam. Lily wasn't able to loosen this screw. She needed. This was certainly not the ideal. And as long as. Good night, shade. Awesome. A bracket. Ooh. There seemed to be some kind of bracket, but Lily couldn't cont- Autobots, transform and- Whoa, hello! Lily had heard rumors that disobedient children were hung from this hook. Otherwise, oh Mother Superior used it to hang her tea kettle over the fire. Mother Superior, you... At night, Mother Superior put it this... Hmm, okay. So what's this? Mother Superior's office? 
see where that goes. Oh look, she's in the other room. Maybe I can grab this. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior ignorance. Oh. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Can you get climb up in there? Lily had a basic understanding of how the dumbwaiter worked. You took out the food and put the dirty plates back in when you were. Um. Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only thing. What do you want a coconut? Lily didn't want to spoil plants were the. Do you want a coconut? Here. Lily didn't think the lump. Gotta be like a hidden door here or something. There seem to be but Lily. This was certainly not the idea, and as long. This was cert and as long. Lily had always liked the large painting, and it showed a dining table after a big meal with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. Wow. It was Edna's bill. Let's see what's over here. Oh, I've been this way. Well, I use this on that guy. Shawnee didn't Lily. Here, Shawnee did Lily. Shawnee Lily. Someone had tried the animal. It didn't even. Superior had forbidden Lil, but no. Lily knew she was food, and when is Lily had to make sure she didn't get the skewer in her eye. It was so easy to have an accident. Lily didn't know what to do with all these. Up until then, she had always played marbles with. At least they had talked to her while she. Okay. I guess I gotta talk to her. What are you creeping around here for? Feed the cat! Don't tell me you're done already! Uh... No. That's what I thought. I am slowly losing the will to keep constantly having to remind you <laughs> to live. children of what good values are. Take a look at the embroideries on the wall. They depict all of the important virtues. Superiority, strength, and self-control. 
Um, um. I'm quite aware that self-control is missing. Do you think I'm blind? Chill. Now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. If you pass the classroom, remind Birgit to hurry up with her embroidering. If the self-control motif isn't finished today, I will really blow my top. Mother superior. Maybe she should switch brands. Maybe I should throw some nightshade into her coffee. Mother superior See? only. So why should Lily? Um. Here, Doris. Do you like this? What's going on? That shouldn't be a just like. So get out. Uh, I need. Oh wait, here we go. Give her that. I've had it up to here. Cash. Haven't I told you a thousand times already? Get the hell out! Just wait. Can I have that? I need something to calm my fingers. Cash, we're in for a hell of a game here. Thanks. That was close. Now take your stuff and get out. All right, so I got an idea. This is the second Edna and Harvey. Um, cast, Sam, cast. All right, let's try. Where was she? She was in the classroom. All right, now I have to take this and this and put them Lily together. This idea was delightful. The guinea pig was bound to make a huge impression as an animal role model. All right, just dissected guinea pig. Here we go. There. Huh, at least this is a regular animal motif. But do you think it also conveys really important values? Of course. Uh, so what are you up to did. today, bud? Guinea pigs were cute How you doing? and small, but always cheerful. Lily always tried to follow their example. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come back in a few minutes. If you don't bother me, I won't take long. Just finish your day. All right. Nice. Sounds like fun. Oh, you guys ready for uh, Oak Island digging down the behind the scenes tonight? We won't have the actual show, but uh, we do have that we can watch. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cool. Me too. Uh, oh, and we also got another heist. Uh, greatest heist show. Alright, so now what am I supposed to do? Wait, she didn't give me the other one. What the frickity frack? What are you? The banner has to go to the. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Alright, go that way. This kind of makes sense. Cafeteria, well. Cafeteria. Bring this up. Ah, How'd you get that up there? Finally finished the new banner, but what's that? A small, 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 dirty guinea pig? Birgit didn't really make this. Did she? Uh huh. That mm -hmm. ca ca can't be true. Can I not rely on anyone here? Just you wait. She'll get what's coming to her. Oh no. We've started some shit with someone else now. Let's go watch. This is gonna be good. Oh. This way? No. This way? This way? Yeah, it was this way. Oh, she's crying her eyes out. What I happened? I can't even tell you how disappointed I am in you, Birgit. This is the worst job I've seen in my entire career. But don't talk back. You are bad. I will probably have to strip you of all your awards, dun, dun, prizes, dun, 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 and Girl Scout dun, 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 dun. badges. You no longer deserve any of them. But I only 
Dun, 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 dun. Did what? Hogwash, do you really wish to contradict me? I can't believe how low you've sunk, Burgett. A guinea pig? It's unbelievable. Your work is an insult to the entire convent. Get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> your whining won't make up for your failures. Just in case you decide not to waste my time with your ineptitude anymore. Here is a motif that's worth immortalizing on a banner. The puma. Strong, precise, dignified. A symbol of self-c-c-control. <laughs> Looks like I can get in here and grab that one now, and whatever else I want. Like that. And that. And that. <laughs> Let me get that. Stop that! I need that as a template. No, you don't. Here, use this one instead. Stop! I need. Lily would have liked to come, but on the other hand, Lily hoped for Birgit's sake that she would try a little harder with the puma motif. It served Birgit. Incompetence had to be punished. Incompetence had to be punished. <laughs> Uh, okay, green screen, a deer, a porcupine, a grizzly bear, what is going on here? Lily decided the uh, hard uh, I really just need a screwdriver, that would be nice. Lily decided to leave Birgit alone. The hard-working student needed time to blah, blah, think. Blah, 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 blah. Can I put these two together? Unfortunately, they were only... Alright, I guess this is done, I just needed to get to that. Oh, maybe I can put these here. As long as no one forbade her, Lily would keep everything, even if... As long as no one, even if she might not have an... As long as, even if... Uh, um, dormitory. Lily's embroideries were useless. Mother Superior had said that more than once. Edna. What's that? Is that from you? Uh-uh. Whew. I started to think you'd... Here. Did you know that Deadly Nightshade is actually incredibly tasty and healthy? It's a proven fact that you can tell all of your friends. Wow. Lily had heard that alcohol didn't... That was certainly... Lily had heard that was Shwing Did they put that there? I don't know Lily had to confess that she was once again. Really? Lily had to. Man, this game is crazy. What are you still doing here? Leave me alone. I'm finished with you. Ch ch Mother's a. Maybe she should. <clears throat> Famous, yeah.
It what the type. In the meantime, but no treasure was as important to her. Oh. Lily had a f she. Lily had heard that was. It was the perfect place. What's that? Well, what do you? But Lily didn't really want to get rid of it yet. What's that? Oh, you know what? Just keep that thing away. There were those voices again, ordering Lily to burn her stuff. Too bad there was no fire in the stove. Got the lighter. Now you did the uh huh. <laughs> what is this shenanigan? This is Edna and Harvey, the second one. Harvey's new eyes. Um, we did kill a man. If you look right behind me, this purple thing that's being painted here, or pinkish color, you can kind of see a skull and some bones and some some uh, uh, termites here. Uh, there was a guy who fell in this well, and then I knocked this uh, beehive into the well, and he was getting stung. And then I filled it up, and he was over here. And then I took the honey and trailed the honey from. Uh, let me go over here. Uh, trailed the honey from all the way over here. And the termites, I guess, ate that guy. It was really cool. It was awesome. And now this weird potato looking thing is painting him. <laughs> it's a fucked up game. This guy's a dick. Um, ooh, look who's coming to get her recipe back. If it isn't our lid, you better split before. I say you kick his ass. <laughs> if you're trying to impress me, You'll have to- You're too scared to even hunt sparrows! And that means you won't get your recipe! Alright, so we gotta find a way to, like, kill this guy. Shawnee didn't seem to be- Baka Tom! Lily had to find- Tom said no! Shawnee did Lily- I'm a porcupine? I will stab you in the face with this porcupine. Shawnee did Lily had to find- Lily. I don't know you guys. It's a tough one. Oh well, look, we got about 15 minutes left, and I can switch games. Then put that in the bracket. Let's see. Lily had to. Thanks, Sam. Hi. Your holy fartness. The Your royal fartness. I very say. unstable. Lily thought it would make Your much more sense fartness? to simply How place it upside you? down. Sorry. Stop! Don't move! What? No. False alarm. I thought I felt a draft. I'm convinced that there are telltale drafts over here. Clear indication of a church conspiracy directly beneath our feet. I thought you called me a skank for a the second. Right tool skank. to air them. Um, <laughs> them. Damn. Um, Shh. You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. The what? And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. Yeah, I'm hungry. And there's no doubt that they have a, a break. Secret. Food. I know Templar symbols when I see them. 
where there are Templars, a secret crypt with blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. I've read all this shit before. <sighs> Maybe I should just take a little peek. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he has done so many things in history, he held his temper. Mm -hmm. Three easy motions. Happy, angry, sad. When the shelf is gone, he cannot recall where the clues are for the secret treasure. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's some good about the bullies, hairpin. Okay. Take the fuse detonator. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. What have you got now? I hope it's a weapon for the battle against... <laughs> but that's a real detonator! And it's live! You have to defuse it, Suka! Hurry! But with what? With the power of love! Power what? of love! That's the power of love! I know! Jolin, Jolin, back Phew, in time. That was young. close! We'll snitch to Mother Superior! Exactly! This time you really went too far, Lily. What on earth are you thinking? You're even crazier than I thought. Totally ungumbo. Don't just stand there. Ungumbo, you guys. Me. Take it somewhere where it can't do any damage. A bombproof place, a fireproof drum, or something like that. So I can keep the the hairpin sparkled, but to pull them out. Lily first had to find a bomb-proof location to dispose of the warhead. The hairpin fit exactly into the holes. Now she just had to get rid of the detonator. Well, over here, over here, um, what? Memphis, you gotta get out of here, dude. It was the perfect place to get rid of the detonator. What's that? What, what do you have there? Lily could finally use the hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the oh door God. to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. Oh, uh, Lily? Lily? Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept hearing all these sounds. Poor guy. Let's go check on him. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello? The stove was black. Stream two. Alright, time to take a break and get ready for the second stream. This is fucked. We're <laughs> gonna save it right here. Yes, indeed. We're gonna save this shit right the fuck here. <laughs> Alright, well, that was dark. Um. Yeah. 
poor guy. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna get some food, and uh, I'll be back, and we'll start Broken Sword Five, and that should be a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully. So, uh, feel free to lurk if you want. Take a take a breather. Go get some food yourself if you want. Check out some other streams if anyone else is on. Do you want me to? No, don't. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back though. Enjoy the clips. Um, I'll probably be like 15 minutes, I think, something like that. It shouldn't be too long. And then uh, we'll play Broken Sword 5. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you on a little bit. Bye. Okay. Uru. Uru. Yes, it's Uru. 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 No, Uru. Uru. Ilu, stop it. <sighs> oh, also, I, I forgot. Uh, feel free to check out the clips in my Discord channel. I, I managed to clip the two times that I got poisoned in one stream. It's three clips all together, but maybe we'll see them. Maybe we'll see them during the BRB. I don't know. We'll see. I just wanted to point that out because it was funny as shit. <laughs> Bye. I got a better idea. Watch this. Here we go. Let me get out of the way. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Glitch fixed. <laughs> I ran the debug program. <laughs> the fireball. All these things, stupid plants are smarter than me. They're not. <laughs> I'm smarter than your average plant. <laughs> hey, Joey. Ew. Snot boy. <laughs> oh my god, you son of a bitch. Uh, don't do that. Uh. Okay, go, just go, just go, just go, just go. <laughs> you didn't see that, dude. You didn't see that. <laughs> That was scary. Oh, ah! Oh, where am I? Oh, I hear something. I, I really had little faith that it was going to be this long. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, Uru, Uru. Yes, it's Uru. 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 No, Uru. 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 Stop it. <sighs> Poems. Stories. Oh dear Tasha. Uh, I, I almost forgot about that person. <laughs> what is this letter from? Let's see, what does it say? Cuddling on the mm, let's not read that. Whack! Yes! Yes! We are geniuses. We're like I should Matt get rid of Holger brain. first. Come on, we can clean up later. No, somebody, somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? 
<laughs> Alright, let's take him. Yes, I should get rid of him, but where to put him? Ah, I know, the cabinet! <laughs> it's upside down by his big ass feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh my god, that's really good. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to not get animals that are literally right there watching me clean and fucking son of a bitch. Scared the shit out of me. God damn it. God damn it. Uh. Yes, 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 yes! Did you see that shit? Did you see that? Holy crap! <laughs> Last second. That's... Oh my god, that was perfect. I shot him at the last possible second. <laughs> Oh my god. Ancient Chinese secret. <gasps> oh. Uh. Um. Um. What's going on up here? Uh. She's. Is she? Okay. No nips. Okay. What are you doing on the toilet? Let's flush that down, lady. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> Matthew? 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 What's happening? Yeah, she's fine. Everything's cool. Everything is fine. You guys. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? We hear you. What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat that a guest? That fucking rude. We won't give up that easily, will we? Are you son Let's of a see. bitch. That's a big one right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. And he's staring me down. He knows I'm here. Covered it up. <laughs> you big dumbass. <laughs> right. You're right, MK. It is. It's old J Mac. Old J Mac. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, you have come quite handsome in your old age, but your feet are so tiny. Well, uh, you have a strange set of glasses on, they're kind of like around your ears like a mask. J-Mac, you don't wear your glasses like that, do you? Like, like a mask? Know, around like the back of your ears, like that, just kind of holding them on like a scuba goggles or something. I don't. I'm just kidding, buddy. I'm, like, I'm just kidding. Is he still here? He might have left. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trashing you. Well, I'm yeah. refreshed. There we go. And back down to the bench. Did I sell everything? Oh, no. 
Oh, oh god. What just happened? Sorry about that, guys. My The game just wigged out on me. It wasn't on my screen. It was on stream. OBS did something funky. The game was working. I just saw it going. You know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. Do you really think it's going to work on him? <sighs> Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? <laughs> you ran to him. What the fuck is this? <laughs> um, what am I supposed to be doing here? Oh my. I think I'll take this bread. I think the only thing that I mean I could have traded this for the salami, but it, all I'm well doing is taking done, this for the Nico. Man's the bread, bread is now mine. Booty time, yeah. Here's a what has happened? It's been fifteen years since I was last on Twitch. Look how long my hair is now. Uh, what was your name again, Younger? Youngin? And P Yay! He paused to listen. And hearing the crying diminish, hastened forward. Perhaps she was already at the gateway and about to pass. Uh, that wasn't me. I'm, I'm sorry. That, I don't know. Must have been a frog. Shit out of me. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Smarter than me, they're not. <gasps> oh, Joey. <laughs> I'm smarter than your average plant. <laughs> It's been 15 years since I was last on Twitch. Look how long my hair is now. Uh, what was your name again, Younger? Youngin? And P? 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 Yay! Poems. Stories. Oh dear Tasha, uh, I, I almost forgot about that person. <laughs> what is this letter from? Let's see, what does it say? Cuddling on the... Mm, let's not read that. He paused to listen. And hearing the crying diminish, hastened forward. Perhaps she was already at the gateway and about 
about to pass. Uh, that wasn't me. I'm, I'm sorry. That I don't know. Must have been a frog. She's not gonna hide it. Everything's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Everything's cool. Everything is fine. You guys. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? We hear you. What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat that a guest? Fucking rude. We won't give up that easily, will we? Are you son Let's of a see. bitch? Okay, Uru, Uru. Yes, it's Uru. Uru, Uru. No, Uru, Uru, Uru. Stop it. Uh. I got a better idea. Watch this. Here we go. Let me get out of the way. Hi. There we go. Glitch fixed. <laughs> I ran the debug program. <laughs> the fireball. Hang on to it. Yes! 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 Did you see that shit? Did you see that? Holy crap! <laughs> Last second! Oh my god, that was perfect. I shot him at the last possible second. <laughs> oh my god. Ancient Chinese secret. <gasps> oh. Uh. Um. Um, what's going on up here? She's... Is she? Okay. No nips. Okay. What are you doing? Or in the toilet? Let's flush that down, lady. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> Matthew? Matthew? Happy, what's happening? Oh. Right, you're right, MP. It is. It's old J Mac. Old J Mac, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. You have come quite handsome in your old age. Your feet are so tiny. Oh, uh, you have a strange set of glasses on. They're kind of like around your ears, like a mask. J Mac, you don't wear your glasses like that, do you? Like like a mask? You know, around like the back of your ears, like that, just kind of holding them on, like a scuba goggles or something. I don't. I'm just kidding, buddy. I'm, like, I'm just kidding. Is he still here? He might have left. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trashing you. Whack! Yes. Yes! We are geniuses. We are like James. I should get rid of Holger brain. first. Come on! We can clean up later! No. Somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You uh, have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take him. Yes, I should get rid of him, but where to put him? Ah, I know, the cabinet. <laughs> it's upside down by his big ass feet. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh my god, that's really good. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> I, I really had little faith that it was going to be this long. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. 
Do you really think it's going to work on him? Yeah. Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. She ran to him. What the fuck is this? <laughs> um, what am I supposed to be doing here? Oh my. I think I'll take this bread. I think the only thing that I mean I could have traded this for the salami, but all I'm well doing is taking done, this for the Nico. Man's the bread, bread is now mine. Bad. Booty time. Yeah. That's a big one right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. And he's staring me down. He knows I'm here. I covered it up. <laughs> you big dumbass! <laughs> Oh God, what just happened? Sorry about that guys, my, the game just wigged out on me. It wasn't on my screen, it was on stream. OBS did something funky. The game was, I just saw it going. You're right, you're right MP. It is, it's old J-Mac. Old J-Mac, what are you doing? My goodness, you have come quite handsome in your old age, but your feet are so tiny. Well, I'm, you have a strange set of glasses on, they're kind of like around your ears like a mask. J-Mac, you don't wear your glasses like that, do you? Like, like a mask? You know, around like the back of your ears, like that. Just kind of holding them on like a scuba goggles or something. I don't. I'm just kidding, buddy. I'm, I, I'm just kidding. Is he still here? He might have left. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just trashing you. Thank you. 
Whack. Yes. Yes. We are geniuses. We are like Jay I should get rid of Holger brain. first. Come on, we can clean up later. No. Yeah. Somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You uh, have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take him. Yes, I should get rid of him, but where to put him? Ah, I know the cabinet. <laughs> it's upside down by his big ass feet. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh my god, that's really good. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> he paused to listen. And hearing the crying diminish, hastened forward. Perhaps she was already at the gateway and about to pass. Uh, that wasn't me. I'm, I'm sorry. That, I don't know. It must have been a frog. Ew! Snot boy! Who's the anchor school here? Can I hang out? I just need a tissue, that's all. Um, your grandmother was calling for you. And now, with my mom. I said with my mom. Alright, come on, lobster boy. Let's get in there. See grandma. We only got to where our backpack is. Well, I'm trying to not great. get the animals that are literally right there. Watching me clean and that on. son of a bitch. Scared the shit out of me. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> ah. What has happened? It's been... 15 years since I was last on Twitch. Look how long my hair is now. Uh, what was your name again, Younger? Youngin? And P? 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 Yay! Flush that down, lady. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> Matthew? 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 What's happening?
Yes, 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 yes. Did you see that shit? Did you see that? Holy crap. I love that clip. I absolutely love that last clip. Sorry, I'm back. It took me an extra, what, 10 minutes or something like that. Had to deliver a message. Okay, let's change the category. Um, Broken Sword 5. It feels good to actually have a category this time. For those that don't know, Broken Sword 4 does not have a category. I wonder. Hang on. Let me see something. Let me click done. Okay. Angel of death. That's the... Hold up. That's not the right game. It's angels of death. No, that's not it. That's so funny that it doesn't... Broken Sword 4 does not have a category. The Serpent's Curse. Here we go. I've been waiting to play this one. I've been waiting to play this one for a long time. <clears throat> originally bought the first and second... Well, not originally. Um, originally had the first one uh, on, when I was a kid growing up. And then I had, I've got the second one right, right here. Boom. Broken Sword 2. And I've had that for a very long time. But the third and the fourth I hadn't had. And I bought the first and second and fifth on my phone. You can buy them on your phone, actually. On, on your mobile device. Um, which is cool that they have them and continue to... Uh, make it accessible for other people, new people to play it. But I had the fifth one that I bought on my phone. Hadn't played the third or fourth. Years went by. Years went by. Um, and I finally am just finishing... I just finished the fourth one last week. Um, so it's cool to actually... Be here. Finally be playing this one on what is this? modern or classic that's funny ui is modern classic huh achievement announcements full screen oh yeah back what about visual audio visual uh game Reloading on, reloading off. Facebook? No, that's okay. Why is there not one for graphics? Huh. Okay. Uh, if you have not played a point-and-click adventure game before, we recommend that you play the short tutorial section. Uh, and then there's episode two right there. That's cool. Um, I've played point-and-click tutorial. I've played point-and-click games my whole life. A tutorial would be useless, but I would love to see how they actually. I want to see how they do it. I want to see how they say this is how you do it. This is how you play the game. This is how you become a gamer. Read. Uh, left click interact. Yes. Uh huh. Continue. <coughs> There's George. Okay. Gotcha. Pick up. So they're, they're going back to like the original. Because yeah, I heard that like. This one did. A, I saw that this one did a lot better than three or four did, as far as ratings. Um, but I'm the type of person. I have to I have to play the games in cryogenical order. I want to know what they're like. Oh, right here. Okay. Yep.
Mm-hmm. Amazing. Now they want me to put the two together. Look at that, a goat. Oh, I see. There, now. <coughs> Enjoy the game. <laughs> that was cute. All right, let's let's start a new game. But the serpent was wiser than all the animals that were in paradise, and God cursed the serpent and called him the devil, and said, and he said, Behold, Adam has become like you. I was reading that. I guess unknown. Uh, battle not the monster you used to become a monster. If he gave into the abyss, the abyss will also please into you. Ah, uh, we're bringing back that wonderful music. I love it already. I love it already. Catalonia, Spain, 1937. It was a beautiful day for death. It's actually a throwback to the uh, first game. <clears throat> oh. Take these books. Read them. We must go now. Papa! Papa! Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Xavier, the painting. The malediction. Senor, in here. Search them. Of course. Ooh. Paris, present day. <clears throat> Paris in the spring. Passion, romance. L'amour. L'amour. I was working in art insurance. We paid the rent. Just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, George. We should catch up. It's her. Let's it's have the original voice. Uh, nobody move! Uh-oh. No, monsieur! Not la malediction. <gasps> Stay Gasp. back. He fainted. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about What is Nico to doing to chasing that terrifying adventure together? <clears throat> well, it's a good way to start it, I guess. Was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. I had the a cops crime would be here to solve. Soon. I didn't have much time. How's the volume? Uh, first of all, let's save. 
All right. Next options, audio, speech. Maybe the music is what's a little loud. I don't know. Let's see. The priest was giving last rites to the gallery owner. I didn't want to interfere. Actually, let me do this. I don't think anyone's here, so let me listen. Test, 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 test. The priest was giving last rites to the gallery owner. I didn't want to interfere. Test, test, test. <clears throat> okay. Let's talk to him. Excuse me, Father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? God. I am a Dominican priest. I know. I'm a priest. Things. I know when. And now, I know this stuff. excuse me. I must. One minute, I'd been planning dinner with Nico. The next, I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. It was too intriguing not to take a look. It read, 2.30 p.m., be ready. Innocent enough until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced the note. Poor guy. Poor guy. A small purple nozzle was poking out of his pocket. In Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of bread. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. Hey, Messi. Oh, hi. <coughs> How's the game sound? Did audio sound okay? I just checked on my stream. I think it's... I think it's okay. Clerk, need to get some stuff, house stuff. Oh, need to do some house stuff, I'm sorry. Okay, Cass, thanks for lurking, bud. Yeah, it does sound a little quiet, doesn't it? Let's, let's, let's see here. Test, test, test. Poor guy. Oh, whoa. That sound better? He definitely looked better. That sound better? Yeah, that was creepy. Poor guy. I didn't want all these blood on my hands. There was no way anyone would have survived that. Yeah, this is like the total opposite of most games. Like, I have to turn... Wow, like, I'm really loud. Test. Yeah, I'm really loud. I'm not redlining. I'm just way louder than everything else.
There was no way anyone would have survived. Does sound better. I don't think it's louder than me now. A cryptic test, note test. in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I needed to find where he kept thank his you. records. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and uh, Sam, I don't know if you're still there, t but uh, thank you both for uh, talking to my friend. I appreciate it. Um, she's just having the time. <clears throat> but yeah, my many thanks for the kind words of encouragement. Um. Oh, I can. Oh, uh, cool. I can just do that. That's nice. I don't actually have to hit escape. Hey, is this guy okay? You all right, buddy? It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. We'd met before. It hadn't ended well. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guess he'd only fainted. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. Lane had fainted. In the pocket was a pair of nail clippers. They were monogrammed with the letters HL. Wow. Time to awaken the beast. <coughs> what? <laughs> Just like farted in his face. How do you like that? It was definitely a burp cloud or a fart cloud. Either one. What was that? It smells like... Like the 70s. <laughs> Where am I? Paris. You fainted. You see? There's the Eiffel Tower right there. Uh -huh. Pizza. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Pizza. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. I'll take it. Never know when you need pizza. No one had noticed the pizza box fall onto the floor. Just like casually stuff a slice of pizza in my pocket. Well, I'm just gonna hang on to this for later. I decided to leave it alone. Don't judge. The alarm still worked on that painting. Oh. I wondered why the stolen paintings alarm hadn't sent. Yeah, that's weird. The CCTV camera. With luck, the security camera had captured the robbery. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. Mm-hmm. Well, this is where the stolen painting was. Oh! This was where the stolen painting had hung. Damn! Why that painting? And why... T-H-I-C-C-C. -C -C. The stolen painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it happened. Anyway. Simpson Nat Boons. It was the speaker calling for the alarm. It hadn't Sorry. sounded when the painting was stolen. It looked fine to me. That wasn't the reason the alarm didn't go off. Alright, well, let's test the button. So, the alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. So they did something right here. Cut wire right there. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. The clippers were the perfect size to cut. Aha, uh -huh, he did it. Could Lane be the saboteur? I had to find out. I got to find out what happened. But first, pizza. I picked up a piece of pizza from the gallery floor. It could be useful. 
All right. <clears throat> Let's check this door. The door was locked. It Wait, what? I still needed to figure out the code to that key. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so how how is your day going, Messi? I'm sorry. How are you doing Welcome today? Welcome back to the land of the living. Are you feeling better? Are you I getting exactly plenty of rest? This living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. Okay. Uh, guess wants pizza. I found a slice of pizza. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Now give it here. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now what's been going on? Uh, oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Long day at work, got a flat tire on my way to pick up the kid at school, but now I'm home and eating for all as well. Oh, man, what a day. Well, I'm glad you're able to kick back and relax now. That's, uh... <clears throat> Unfortunate. We had, um... We ran out of oil yesterday. We had that filled, and then, uh... Last night we tried to get the um the pump to prime, the oil pump to prime to, to turn on the heat. So we didn't have any heat last night other than the little heater I've got behind me on the table there. Or dresser, I mean. Um they came by today and it was like uh for them it was like six hundred to yeah they had they came to look at it said it needed a new uh motor or whatever so they had to replace the motor and i was like that's weird i was like it was just working last night we just couldn't get it to prime and then all of a sudden they're like well it's the motor i'm like that's weird that's weird it should have been the bladder but what can you do? You know, that's what they say is wrong, and that's what they ended up fixing. So, and it's working now. So, I'm I'm not the mechanic. They are. <laughs> it just was weird because I tried to get it to prime last night, and the motor seemed to be working, but I guess it just wasn't kicking on or something. I don't know. So yeah, it's always something, you know. Damn, it was, it was not, like, it, I mean, it was kind of cold last night. It got down to, like, 36, I think, is what it was when I last looked at the, look, last looked at my watch before I went to sleep. It was, like, I think 36 degrees. And I was like, oh, man, I hope the freaking pipes don't freeze in the other side of the house. All right, now, let me ask you... It was in the 40s here this morning. Oof. What about this, dude? These fit perfectly on those wires. Can you explain? Are these your nail clippers? Of course. See, they're monogrammed with my initials. Okay, so he's identified those as his, which he should because that's where I found it in his pocket. You want this? Here, spray some more in your face. How about some more of this? <laughs> I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. Okay, so what else can I grab here? Um... Call Nico. Who did you find? Did you find him, Nico? Did you catch the bad guy? Who 
Nico wasn't answering her phone. No surprise. Uh oh. I need to go rescue Nico. Hello, hello, Mr. Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker. Orbal. Mr. Orbal Rickenbacker, Rickenbacker, there's been a problem. The popcorn guy? Why does that surprise me? It's better not My popcorn is the best popcorn, popcorn, I promise you that. I'm afraid it does, sir. There's been a robbery. Oh, terrific. Only one painting was stolen, though. Well, what are you wasting time talking to me for? Find that painting, or find a way to avoid paying out. Two ways to keep your job, Stobart. I see. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anything else you gotta tell the me? The man was murdered. The thief had a gun. He shot the gallery owner dead. We insured him too? No, sir. Well, that's one piece of good news. At least tell me you got some leads. This guy's a real piece of work. Sabotage. I'm pretty sure the security was sabotaged. I'm standing right next to the guy. The alarm was disabled for that one painting. So, it was an inside job. Who else is at the gallery? There's a priest. Uh-huh. As my mother used to say, never trust a man in a cloth. She should know she married one. There's a guy called Hector Lane. Lane? Why does that name sound familiar? He's an art critic. I think he's connected. I don't think to the he's exhibition. listening to me. I don't think he can hear me. <laughs> Wait, what? What was the question? Shit. Uh, what, what did he just ask? I missed it. Oh, let me look on the. Hold up, hold up, folks. Hold up, folks. I need to look at my own vod. Damn shame. Hold up, hold up. My head's blocking it. Could it be him? Oh, that's what he said. Could it be him? I think so. Well, he's rude and ugly. It's certainly possible. So squeeze him, Stobart. Squeeze him till he squeals. If I was going to squeeze Lane, I needed longer arms <laughs> than these. Find out who disabled the security system, then find that painting. And don't call back until you have. Dude, you need to get a new job, George. That guy's a piece of work. Alright. Excuse me. Confess. Talk to Do me. Do I know you? Yes. Yes, our paths have crossed. In the Glees Gallery? Of course. The With man the absinthe. with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid I don't not. have any... Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. You know Henry? Did you know the gallery owner? Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? Oh, really? Henri provided the space. I was the creative power. Hmm. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. 
And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. If Lane, if Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code to that door. You better tell me that code. Do you know anything about the stolen painting? Of course, dear boy. La Maledicio, a little-known work, turned up at the last minute. What about the killer? Were you able to get a look at him? A delinquent in a tin hat. Beyond that, I don't really recall. Oh, yeah, you fainted. Those of us with a higher aesthetic are more sensitive to violence. So you curated the exhibition? What's it about? A brilliant retrospective. A dialectical window on European art's ongoing discourse with the unresolved psychoses of the nation state. Wow, you took the words right out of my mouth. I wonder if I should move my camera because some people are not going to be able to read. Hmm. Okay. So you help run this place? Yeah. Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat up. Mr. Lane, you're... And why, pray, should I do that? Because the way the cops will see it, you're the prime suspect. We both know you're innocent, Mr. Lane, but the cops, well, they may not see things so simply. I might be able to get them off your case, but in exchange, I'd like the code for the office door. But that's preposterous. The police would have neither evidence nor motive. Funny you should mention that. Hmm. Uh, what is that? Cut wires? Someone sabotaged the alarm on the stolen painting. A wire was cut. What? Who could have got into the alarm system? Exactly. It was an inside job, Mr. Lane. You're not suggesting that I... Well, I'm afraid that's the way the cops are going to see it. That's preposterous. How could I possibly have cut the wire? An unusual painting turns up at your exhibition and gets stolen. Doesn't look good, does it? And your point is? The cops are going to ask some awkward questions. But you give me the code to the CCTV room, and I'll do my best to point them elsewhere. I cannot let you into that room, <laughs> Mr. Stobart. Besides, Henri found La Maledicio, not me. I had nothing to do with it. Okay. This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. You want that? I was onto something here, and I knew it. Lane was sweating. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> We're not done, dude. We got more Don't to talk about. Don't suppose you've changed your mind about giving. Sir, I might just. I hate to say this, Mr. Lane, but you're going to be the number one suspect for this murder. So you keep saying. Ugh, keep that. Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? Gonna relax a bit before stream. See yes, you later, Messi. They have my initials monogrammed on them. Thanks for lurking. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stolen painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? I had no reason to kill Henri. No motive whatsoever. Okay, but I don't think the cops will see it like that. And I sure would like that door code. <laughs> He's really... He's really trying. He's really trying. Well, you got... As I... As I... 
Mr. Lane. As so. I'd already tried the alarm on that one. All I, All I needed was a mere 65,000, and this little gem could be mine. 55,000. Hmm. The bus was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't want to knock it off. That bus was pretty impressive. I wondered who'd been the model. <laughs> The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. Another... Another... But why that... Why that particular one? Yeah, no, quick, 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 quick. I didn't think it was clear. Is there anything else? No. Oh, can I unplug this? No. Hmm. Father? Yes, my son. Devil? <laughs> what did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who <sighs> he will devour. What? What are you talking about? Peter 5.8. The devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. Okay, oh, here we go. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. The painting that was stolen. I had to confront the evil. I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. It starts with another murder. The devil's the work is the always an inside job. A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Sure. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. <laughs> you mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, the devil likes to have the last laugh. Oh, God, here we go, man. Come on, really. Do you know the code to get into the office? No. But you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. <laughs> With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. <laughs> what do you know about the man who painted La Maledictio? El Sep. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Hey, Father, how about a score? <laughs> I think not. Do you recognize these? Nail clippers. I'm not sure what your point is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
The poster looked... Can I leave? The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. Oh. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. Let me move this chair over so it's like. Closer to the mouse now. Go that way. Oh, Garcon. Uh, Garcon. Excuse me, Monsieur. There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, man. you don't sound surprised. No, oh, really. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's hard not to. I was trying to get that to work, and it just didn't want to. Did you see anybody run out of the gallery earlier? There was a beautiful woman. With a Where'd camera. she go? She was chasing somebody. Oh, that must have been Nico. You know her? You surprised me. Can you tell me anything about the man she was chasing? I assume, monsieur, that like all of us, he is inherently unknowable. No wonder this guy's cafe was empty. <laughs> the gallery owner, Henri, was Henri. shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. Right. Did you know him well? Have we oh ever truly God, know another so human tired. being, monsieur? He spent little time at the cafe, unlike his friend, monsieur Lane. What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? Monsieur Le Lizard Bleu. Vacuous and overpriced. I don't know what he just, just said. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest fluzy. Fluzy. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yes. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill and tell him to pay up next time. check was from last night but lane told me he was nowhere near the gallery mm. this could be the leverage i needed to get the office door code from lane interesting would you like a squirt of this are you suggesting a smell monsieur no no sorry do you recognize these they are nail clippers Thank you for your consistent indifference, monsieur. <laughs> Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I won't. You don't happen to know which way Nico went, do you? I got something for you. Look at your drink tab, sir. Take a look at this. Walt Harvest. It's your bill from the cafe next door. So? It's dated yesterday. Last night, in fact. 12.30, to be exact. You said you were out of town. You sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. 
I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Tell you what, you give me the code of the door, and the police need never know. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Lane. You are a blackmailer, Stobart. Just doing my job. All right. You have me. Well, number 60, is 6397. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. I had the code. The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. What was that number again? 642... No. Everyone, hold it right Six, there. 6397. Damn it. Ah, uh, Inspector Moose. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Wait. Now, nobody move. Where's Rosso? Especially you on the floor. Mo, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out. Yeah, Apart that's Inspector Moo. Damn. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Moo. Sergeant Moo. Our I'm sorry. had crossed before. Prince Inspector Rosso and Sergeant Moo from the first game. Sergeant Moo, we meet again. Ah, ah, ah Madame Collard, an unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And I must correct you, Madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon Dieu, that poor man. I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Gola. Who is Inspector Nave? Ah, the most promising young investigator on the force. A genius, a man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. That, that he is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and want to go home. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. So I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. Hmm. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactly. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. No, he's a... Never mind. This was madness. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. A gendarme never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. 
My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last uh, incident. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very unfortunate. I am on duty and I need to focus. <laughs> Here's my press card. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, yes madam. Stay away from the crime scene and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Mu. You've been so helpful. <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> if, I can't remember the exact quote, but in the first game, George asked him if he had any, uh, I guess, advice or tips or anything. Or, uh, and I just remember him saying, Do not cross the road until the little man turns green. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. 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 <laughs> As a kid, that was so hilarious to me. Madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then why are you standing here? You would not understand, madame. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. Really? The others? Women? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days. Oh, so their you're... almond croissant. You're one of them <laughs> That's sexist. bad, huh? Okay. <laughs> And the men with their grooming products. Oh no, he just equally hates people. And okay. He doesn't to my care. Cafe and he hates everyone. Lattes, macchiatos. Just like the other game. <laughs> I see your point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs. Bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. It's we like fought for ideas. Military. For philosophy. For freedom. Equality. Fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? No, madame, no. 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 It was French Café Noir that inspired us. The simple delitas. The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you closed? Yes, madame. I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy heels, are none of those things. This is a cafe. Yes, to the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. But there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. So what, you're forced to, like, what, kiss his ass or something? What do we got here? Call George. Hi, George. I'm outside the gallery. Thank God you're safe, Nico. I tried the phone, but I couldn't get an answer. Inspector Moo is out here, and he's not letting me in. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out the alarm was tampered with. Looks to me like an inside job. So, no ordinary robbery? And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that my mother didn't see a holy needle. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. Maybe you can help me out when you get back in here. Hmm. Okay, can we call Ronnie? Yo, Ronnie. Ronnie? Ronnie, I'm at the exhibition over in Montmartre. You won't believe the scoop I've got. You're kidding me. That place is a dump. 
What could possibly have happened to make it exciting? A painting's been mm. stolen, and the gallery owner's been shot. What? Okay, so to anybody who saw what happened, scope out the place. And call me as soon as you get a story. If you're quick, we can make the evening edition. Bye, Nicole. All right. This could be the scoop I've been waiting years for. Oh, what a day, what a day. It was an office. The room was full of strange trinkets. The pissoir was decorative and unpleasant. The what? The pissoir? Is oh, it's a toilet? Outdoor toilet. Yep, there's a little person there pissing. <laughs> that makes sense. Pissoir. Um, metro station. Can I leave? I wasn't oh, yeah. going. Don't leave without George. All right, let's talk to Moose again. Wait, can I look through the window? Tap on the window. The body was still in there. I had bite. I'm from the press. You have to let me Moo in. Moo wouldn't be interested. Oh. Salut. Salut. Bonjour, Bonjour madame. Moo wouldn't be. That incident you mentioned. I don't want to, I don't want to talk. All I can say is it was very uh. unfortunate. I am on duty mm -hmm. and I need to mm -hmm. focus. Okay, so I gotta Thanks, Sergeant. get some coffee or something. An inch. Hmm. Okay, so we have to talk to him again, I guess. Monsieur. Life is fleeting, madame. The sands of time are running through your fingers. Well, that may be, but... We know not what we want, and yet we are responsible for what we are. There's been a crime. That is terrible, madame. But you know what they say. No, but I think you're going to tell me. Life begins on the other side of despair. What? C'est vrai, no? Well, I guess so. <sighs> he was pushing me to the point of despair. During the riots, we battled the forces of oppression. Oh, really? That must have been terrifying. It was. Except that they made me stay behind the barricades with the other baristas. We made coffee by the litre to fuel the resistance. I've never brewed so much coffee. Of course, our brave heroes spent half their time going for a pee. <laughs> but with our coffee inside them, they fought the running dogs all night long. None of this was helping me get past Sergeant Mou. Au revoir. Here's my press card. Liberty. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? La Liberté, the great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Okay. Monsieur. Gravel. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Perhaps you will walk that road with me. I mean, Could we have no? a little chat? Anytime, madame. 
Good. Let's talk. Did you see anything happen at the gallery earlier? I saw you running after a pizza delivery guy. Somebody said he killed someone. That's true. He stole a painting and shot the gallery owner. Oh, how close we are to death. And yet how far from ever comprehending it. Mm, well, right now I need to get back inside and figure out what happened. I applaud you, madame. To seek the truth is a worthy ambition. As a journalist, that is my duty. The waiter didn't need to see my press card again. Uh, why is that even an option in the conversation? How about some coffee? For you, madame, of course. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong, and in a tiny cup. In one a moment. tiny cup. Here is your coffee, madame. Careful, it's hot. Thank you, monsieur. No, don't drink it all. You're supposed to give it to Sergeant Moo. Damn it. Can I have an extra cup? The coffee was hot and strong. Uh, can I get... Yes. Would you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. Stick this hot coffee in my jacket pocket. Oh, Sergeant Moo, I've got some coffee for you. Sergeant Moo, I brought you a coffee. Oh. Coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. But wait. I must not. My little problem. problem. I'm sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. I'm tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your little problem? It is a tale of woe, madame. I'm all ears, sergeant. Well... Since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the president himself. <gasps> One day, Who's that? on vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature <laughs> came to call. So. I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret pee-pee. When I came back, the dog was having a liaison dangereux with the lady minister's terrier. But how did they find out? Well, two months later, the president's Labrador now, where's Cass gave when you need him to, to translate some six of this? beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the president's divorce came through. <gasps> you are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the president himself. Well, the president's dog. Ah, it was the same thing. Yes, I suppose. And by sure. drinking sure. that coffee, sure. you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious republic, yeah. your career. Yeah. Mm. Yes, How you put yeah. it like that? And now France is calling you again. She is saying, <laughs> drink, Sergeant Moo, drink. She is? Come here. She is. Come here. Drink Come here. or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to be? I suppose mm. it is drink. Bravo, Sergeant. Come here. Yeah, drink your coffee. What you doing? You good boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Excuse me, madame. I must use the petit gendarme's room. It has gone straight through me. 
Could you watch the gallery door yeah, for me? Dance. Oh, you can count on me, Sergeant. Oh, he's holding it. He's pinching it off. A distracted move. It was now or never. Look who's here! Oh, hello! How did you get past Sergeant Moo? Huh. Well, you won't mm. fool me so easily, madame. I shall question you later. <laughs> Puppy. Nico, am I glad mm. to see you. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. A big yawn. Where's your big yawn? What does she have to say? The bust was striking. It was a very attractive piece. Oh, here you go, Sam. You want to see some boot? There's some boot. Look at that boot. Anyway, moving on. Hello, sir. Inspector Nabe, <laughs> do you have a moment? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't lick my mouth, dude. That's nasty. My time is of the essence. Be quick now. Okay. Nasty. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide. Nothing more. Casual homicide. Is there such thing as a casual homicide? I mean, really? That the thief it's just that crazy. One particular painting. Apparently this guy's a piece of work. Dude, I was just talking to you. Where'd you go? What? Life oh. is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves. White dog poo poo. Nasal hair. I prefer to concern myself with murder. Whoever wrote these lines are a little Did you see the alarm odd. was sabotaged? Pee -pee and poo -poo I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer okay. biological Bye. evidence to the merely circumstantial yeah. body parts, blood, important things. Don't Go. you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flip-flap. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. George, but the I'm distracting him. But the evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate Involved gore. Gore. What do you think about the American, George? He is deeply suspicious. <laughs> this guy doesn't know shit. Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, Madame. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. I'd never met the gallery owner before, but he sure didn't. Didn't deserve this. What about you? Are you Hector Lane, the art critic? Enchanté, what do you want? And which of the angels we want. are you? What? I'm Nico Kala. I ran down, down the hall again. Ah, a fallen angel. <laughs> my Go to play. Go play your stupid game. Play. What can you tell me about the painting that was taken? It was called La Maledicio, an unknown work that only recently surfaced. Who was the artist? 
Now a mysterious Dixian. figure known only as El Serp. Some say he was a student of Picasso. He was good, but not great. And his true identity remains unknown. What can you tell me about the theft? Oh, it was truly awful. What do you want to know? I want to know about George. Have you spoken to George? George. The American? Yes, yes, the American. He promised to clear up any misunderstandings the police might have about my presence here. <laughs> what can you tell me yes, about Yes, let's talk Henri's about that right next to the, the uh, police. Dear Henri, a shining diamond in the ordure that is the modern art business. He owned the gallery. What will we do without him? Oh. Oh. Tell me about the shooting, monsieur. Oh, it all happened so fast. Take your time. What did you see? I can't be sure. Perhaps I could answer your questions over dinner. I'm sorry, I'm sorry monsieur. Wow. I'm on a tight deadline. Did you see the thief? I would have tackled him, but he was too quick for me. <laughs> you realize I was there. Uh... Did you know that the alarm had been sabotaged? No. How dreadful. I suppose that's why the alarm isn't ringing. Now I'll show you my press card. Here's my press card. And there was I thinking you were too young and beautiful to be a reporter. Thanks for your help, Monsieur Lane. I wasn't going to get anything useful from Lane. Perhaps the priest? Excuse me, Father. Father Simeon, my child. What do you think he's looking Are at on okay, his phone? Father? It's a terrible shock, but yes, I'm fine, thank you. Could I ask you some questions about the crime? What kind of questions? I'm a reporter for La Liberté. I suppose it cannot hurt. Please ask away. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Why did you come to the gallery today, Father? God brought me here. I saw the poster for the exhibition. I had to come. What do you mean? I knew there was great evil in La Maledictio. It was my duty to confront That's it. That's what she said. The painter was El Serp, the serpent. Don't you see? Evil? So, what were you planning on doing here today? I wanted to bear witness to anything that the devil would conjure. Well, I think it was a no-show, Father. Really? A man is dead, Miss Collard. I'd say his work here today is done. That wasn't going to help my story. Mm. Did you see anything that might help identify the killer? The devil takes many forms, child. I didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. Anything would help. I'm sorry, my dear. My mind was elsewhere. What do you know about Henri? An innocent victim, insofar as any of us are innocent. If he was peddling such blasphemous works as the El Serp painting, then who knows what other sins he was hiding. Father Simeon was making me feel guilty. Priests always did that to me. It's because you're bad, Nico. <laughs> what can you tell yeah, me about the painting? So Grotesque and evil. How can a painting be evil? By killing all who come into contact with it. Does that mean we're next? <laughs> Laugh not at the devil's play. Oh, it's going to be like Final Destination. Do you know anything about the painter, El Serp? He was a purveyor of blasphemy, a servant of the Antichrist. How can you know that? It is clear from his work. <laughs> Father Simeon was making a lot of assumptions. Really? This is my press card. As I said, I work for La Liberté. Good. Be sure to warn your readers that this painting is evil. Thank you for your time, Father. Yeah. Thanks. 
The priest had nothing useful to well, offer. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? George, I'm out of ideas, bud. You gotta help me out. Josh? Yeah, Nico. So why do you need to get into the office again? they whisper? I'm pretty sure the robbery was an inside job. And I think the proof is in the office. So, what's stopping you? Golly. A super cop over there. He's just staring. What if I create a distraction? You do that, and I will let you have whatever I find. That's a deal, Josh. Somehow, I had to get the inspector away from the office door. Oh, man. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Inspector. <laughs> yes? We need to talk, sir. Do you really think this is a cut and dried case? En effet. Cut, dried, sealed, and delivered. Do you know anything about La Maledicio? It is a painting. It was stolen. Point. Uh. Are you certain you don't want to investigate the alarm? Unless you can show me new evidence, then please leave me to my work. So you don't think the CCTV footage is you? Oops. I prefer a more visceral approach to the crime scene. <clears throat> All right. So you think George is a suspect? As I said, I am not often wrong about such things, but hmm, I have already said too much. Because you're wrong. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? Please keep your little card away from me. Thanks, Inspector. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. Why did you say the bloodier, the better? I don't understand. What are you supposed to... What are you supposed to do? Confused. Monsieur Lane? My dear. Father Simeon says that the painting is evil. The priest is a lunatic. La Maledicio is a painting, and a painting cannot be evil. So you and Welcome back, Cass. Getting along. No, I wouldn't say that, my dear. I needed your help earlier. They were saying some words I didn't understand. Could you tell me more about the theft? If you insist, the whole thing was too ghastly. Oh, oh. So I guess you'll miss on me. There is already an Henri shaped hole in my heart. Oh, you're good, buddy. You're good. So you didn't see anything that might help identify the murderer? I'm afraid not. I might end up repeating some of these things anyway. Do you have any idea who might have tampered with the alarm? None at all, I'm afraid. This guy's mouth is not moving at all. Anything else you can tell me about the painting? It wasn't particularly valuable compared to some of the other works on display. Did I show you my postcard? <laughs> Damn it. You did, my dear. Thanks for your help, Monsieur. I don't know what else to say. Lane had he had nothing to offer. He was totally useless. Talk to him again. Father. Yes, my child. I did all this already. So, did you... No journey, no journey is too long, when so you really no, my dear. 
Do you know anything? Only that we should. Hmm. So why? There are some things it is. I don't know what's going on. I guess you don't know who the. I have no idea. This is my press. Good. Be sure to warn your readers. Thank you for your. The priest didn't appear to know. What the hell is going Poor on? Guy. Call. Ronnie. I still had nothing new to tell. Okay. Call. Call George, he's right there. There was no point in calling Georges while he was so close. Okay. A CCTV camera watched over the room. I liked it. Nice. Look, cast. Check that out. It was the. That's art. Isn't art wonderful? Um, all right, George. I don't know what to do, man. On the left side there. Yeah, That's art. You said you needed to get into the office? And you said Booty. you were going to create a distraction. Booty art. <laughs> I'm trying to distract him, George. I don't know what the fuck to say. Poor guy. Well, not human. Yeah. I know. Inspector. Yes, I am telling you. <laughs> I have I have nothing else to say. I'm just repeating the same shit over and over. Do you Oh man. Well, thankfully we're close to the end of the stream. Do you know any It is a painting. Are you set? Unless you Can I switch can I press tab and switch to so George while I'm talking to him? Why are you, Madam? Are you sure you don't? Please. Thanks, Thanks Inspector. Only thing I know to do is to. If I was going to distract Nave, and the blood, I didn't want Mu to see me. Bloodier the better. What are you talking about, Nico? Poor guy. Pizza box. Ah. Tomato stain. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. Chewing gum. No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. How about that for a distraction? I wondered whether it would be enough. Let's see how good this detective is. Inspector. Yes? Have you seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately before one of these idiots steps in it. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. Okay, George, that should distract him for a while. Oh, George. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what's going on. 6397. I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away, but I needed to be quick because it wouldn't take him long. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to save this and 
play this later. Off stream. Uh, nope. Let's let's exit this game. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Didn't expect that. That's not good. I guess I could technically actually hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I know. I just I just saw that shit. Um Okay, let's 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 try something else. Uh Actually, let's see who's on. We're going to raid out. That's... This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Um... <laughs> Neo Master's on. Um... Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I'll stream tomorrow. And uh, just continue. With... Let's see. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, yes, we're still on for the Oak Island uh, thing. Later. Um... In fact, Cass, what are you doing at like 8.30? Oops, turn that down. I was thinking we could watch one of those, um, not much. Okay, I was thinking we could meet up at like 8.30 and watch one of those, uh, yeah, Botchamania. We'll watch one of those and we'll talk about this and see what, what you think, uh, damn. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll catch you then. I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll raid out to uh. We'll raid out to uh, Neo Master. Um. If you don't have a sub. Yeah. If you don't have a sub, feel free to use this one. Um. If you do have a sub, we'll do. Uh, where's the other? Where's the other image? Oh, there it is. And uh, Sam, if when you if you want, we'll meet right up around 9 p.m. Uh, let's do like a few minutes after nine because it's going to take a little bit for the. Uh, show to start and then we can fast forward some of the commercials so if you have a rate or if you have a sub feel free to use this raid message I'm gonna copy that uh, what is it 20 okay there we go all right thank you all for hanging out I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the forest with Messi. I might do a stream during the day. Um, so keep an eye open. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you all later. Bye.